Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kurt's Best Recipes. Today we will make a very famous Italian meat sauce which is called the sauce bolognese with uh, uh, pasta rigatoni. Enjoy and let's go for it, let's get chopping. Okay guys, we got the minced beef. We got chopped carrots, we got chopped tomatoes, onions, tomato paste and lots of spices. I don't want to bore you today with uh, watching me chopping all the vegetables, so I did it prior. And we start we start off with uh, quite a bit of cooking oil to roast our brown our meat. So let's wait a second for it to get really nice and hot. Because the, the flavor of the whole sauce depends on the roasting of the meat. A little more, a little more heat if possible. Just wait another second. It's about half a kilo of meat. A very nice thing is what I got today here. I got all herbs chopped fresh. It's basilicum, it's oregano, garlic, celery powder, some uh, black pepper and a little bit of chili for the bite. So the meat has to get really, so you want to brown it, it has to be get really frying, you know. So, and hopefully there's not too much juice running out of it. So it will fry. Just a little bit. When we got the meat, we will add our onions. One glass of onions. It was actually was one big onion. Now it doesn't help. We have to roast that a little more so it gets some brown color in order to get the flavor out of the meat and put the flavor in the sauce. We cannot rush it. Tomatoes today I chopped uh, four or five small tomatoes for flavoring with the fresh tomatoes but we also have to use some of the tomato paste as tomatoes here in this country don't have the they don't have enough flavor like the fully ripe tomatoes in Spain or in Italy. That's the problem here. They have to harvest them green, otherwise they don't have shelf life. And you know if you want to buy them in a shop, one day later they look a little red, but the flavor they don't they don't develop the whole flavor that gives the uh, ripen in the sun. So, okay, here we go. We add a teaspoon of salt. and one small packet of tomato paste maybe this can help us to get the thing roasting We also got a big portion of carrots. I just love carrots in the bolognese sauce. Okay. 
Oh boy, again. Now let's just round the whole thing up a little bit. Before we add the tomatoes, because the tomatoes are going to be full of juice again and stop the meat from really roasting. Just give it a second. The more burnt it is, the better it will be. And for variation of this sauce, we could, as soon as it's uh, roasting, we give it a dash of red wine for flavor. If you have lots of kids that want to eat that, the wine will be gone afterwards, there's no problem. It's just for flavoring, but maybe they don't like it, so leave it without the wine. I just want to add a little for the exclusivity of this recipe, and the Italians believe me do it also. The one more big difference about uh, cooking the bolognese this way and cooking it the way they do in Italy is following. In Italy, they have a a bolognese pot standing at the side of the big stove in the kitchens and this is actually simmering for two three days to get all the flavors out from the meat and anytime they need a portion of that they will add some spices and have this portion with the pot for the daily usage on this um, on a, a different pot and the other big pot is just put all the off cuts of the meat and everything in and the vegetable cuts and everything and leave it simmering like a stock pot like a pot of, of, of beef stock it's all the stock with the to be the base of the sauce polonaise so we make it in a quick way ours we only let simmer about half an hour and this will be it See, now it starts nicely roasting. A little bit more. The funny thing, you would like to make it in the pan maybe, I prefer cooking with bigger pots, so nothing splatters on you, you can just uh, work with it and it stays inside the pot. A little more roasting with this way. Now the tomato paste and the meat develop their whole flavor. You wouldn't eat a burger if it wasn't properly grilled the beef. And without the distinctive flavor of the burnt burn caramel, caramelized meat on the outside. Otherwise it's not a burger and it's not a sauce bolognese either. Now it's about time we add uh, some of the other spices. We can add the chili, we can add the black pepper, we can add the, add the celery powder, we can add the garlic. In order to give it a little darkness, 
we could add a little soy sauce which is gives it a nice mellow flavor after it's cooked and you see now it starts like burning this is what we are waiting for to get the real composition of this uh, beefy flavor Let's add a bit of this little soy sauce This will have to change the caramelized sauce Ah, it's the most delicious sauce So guys, now a good dash of red wine Our cooked tomatoes, uh, our peeled tomatoes and chopped tomatoes. And now we come to our final spices. This is the fresh chopped oregano. Fresh chopped basil. Can I add that one? Roast it a little more, just a minute. Beautiful, beautiful. And it smells so delicious. Sorry, the camera cannot tell you what the smell is like. This is the advantage from being the chef. We add one bowl of water. So here we are, beautiful. And now we need to let it simmer for half an hour. You see, it's all nice mixed up and ready, ready to go. Put the lid on and we just leave it simmering for half an hour. I will be back as soon as we have the success. Okay, see you in a minute. Yeah guys, I, our, our sauce is, looks perfect. The pasta, the rigatone, they might need another minute. I put the sauce aside. I will strain the pasta and then I have to roast up the pasta in the nice bolognese sauce. This is the Italian style. You will see me again in a second. Okay guys, here we are. I got our pasta strained after 8 minutes cooking and now we start to finish this off with some olive oil and a bit of butter. We put the pasta in here in the great Italian style. You add the sauce, you give this a quick reheat. This is the Italian style, you need a big pasta with a heavy sauce, for that reason they're famous. And you see I did not put any oil in the, in the cooking water, I just added the olive oil in the end. Because it's not, in my opinion, it's not really nice to fry with olive oil or heat it up too much. The experts say olive oil is 180 degrees. And if you fry a steak or something, you need more than 200 centigrade, which is too much for the olive oil. And the whole flavor is ruined. The better flavor is if you just add it the minute before you eat. Like this one. And there we are now with our delicious pasta rigatoni with the famous sauce bolognese. Now we to set the plate. Just 
Turn it from this around, make it look nice, the high tower. Add a little more scoop of sauce. And for decoration, piece of basil. So guys, this will be our pasta dish for today, except we did not put the parmesan yet. I did not want to tell you, but if you can do something wrong, everything goes wrong. So, we got our great grater. Can we rub some cheese on that? So, and now you see the difference. This is our great pasta in Italy with the famous um, sauce bolognese. And if you wanted to make any Italian happy, you just add that and a good dash of Merlot red wine with the pasta. Okay guys, enjoy. I'm hope you with, hope you're happy with my recipes and see you next time on my channel and please like and subscribe. Thank you.